We are looking at the interior of the Scrivini Chapel, also known as the Arena Church. The frescoes were the work of Giotto, a talented and successful Florentine artist. Giotto was chosen by Enrico Scrivini, a very rich man, to decorate his chapel in the early 1300s. Giotto is considered to be the father of the Renaissance as he broke away from the accepted medieval Byzantine two-dimensional and elongated style, as we shall see in this fresco, The Kiss of Judas. In the centre is Judas, who seems to hug and cover Jesus with his yellow cloak, a colour associated with mistrust and cowardice. Notice the natural folds in the cloak and the physical presence of the central figures. See the contrast of the faces of Jesus and Judas. Jesus with a golden halo, a head with the face of a young princely man. Judas shorter and brutish and stares up into Jesus's face. Giotto is actually describing a lynch mob. If you look closely at the elements, we see a priest pointing accusingly at Jesus. Then we see the hard faces of the mob and the spears, weapons and torches, and even a ram's horn being blown. Then to the far left of the painting, we see a disciple of Jesus with a halo, cutting the ear off of the servant of the high priest. Below is this small stocky figure with his back to us. Apparently Giotto himself was small and stocky. He pulls the curtain as though this marks a new act in the gospel. A way to see how Giotto was radically changing the accepted rigid flat style of the medieval Byzantium period is to compare this fresco to the Kiss of Judas painted by Duccio around 1311 in Siena. Where there is movement, drama and depth in the Giotto, the Duccio seems somehow flat and staged. Look at the stereotyped repeated faces of the Duccio compared to the individuality and emotion of the faces in the Giotto.